Hi uh, guys, this is a quick demonstration of um, how to work out your position on a map when we're using something like the uh, Sog Prairie Fire uh, map and we don't have our own markers and we don't have GPS or anything. Uh, so as you can see from this map, we have absolutely no information about our actual location. The only thing we've got from the briefing is that we need to recon um, this walled area here, which is somewhere to the um, northeast of BMAT. Uh, we know that we've been dropped in to the map somewhere in this location here, but we do not know exactly where. So first of all, we need to work out how we're going to approach our uh, site. Um, it's best to have some visual markers. So what we've got around here, we've got some good high mountains. Um, but unfortunately those are in clearings so we don't really want to approach them there because that's no good cover um, so probably the best location to approach them would be somewhere south of this ridge line and the best visual reference would probably be that road there so I would suggest putting a marker down and heading to somewhere like slightly south of hill 264 or directly south of Hill 264. So if we put a marker down here, you can see from the grid ref that you're getting on the map there, it's 098105. So let's stick down a marker there, call it FOP. Oops. 098105. So that's where we want to get to to approach our recon um, objective. So that gives us a location to head to, but we don't know how to get to it. So what we need to do is to find out where we are in relation to that. So we need a reciprocal heading from that location to our location. So there's two ways to do this um, without any other mods whatsoever. Using vanilla, then the best thing to do is just to go to that mob at uh, that location, press shift and left click on it. And that will give you a marker. So if we go out of the map now, there's a marker we have. So it's 963 meters away to our, ooh, what is, uh, let's actually, let's, let's go to prone position because the uh, compass wobbles about a little bit less. We are looking at 300, just slightly shy of 300. So about 295 degrees, 295 degrees is our heading to it but what we want to know is our bearing from it um, so 295 degrees take uh, 200 and add 20 is 105 degrees so if you go back to the map there's our location now we hit control shift and drag away from that that's 90 degrees uh that's 180 degrees obviously uh we want 105 degrees so to guesstimate that um i would say it's something like about in this area here so let's drop that line there release and we are should be somewhere along this line or, or roughly somewhere along that line there um this is guesstimation so um next step is to we've got these contours uh, what i always do is get rid of this um, so if you hit the top of map textures up here it gives you a much better idea of your contours um, so what we need to do now is have a look around us um, so to our north we can see we've got a slope heading upwards north northeast to our south the land is pretty flat so we're on flat land and actually to the direction of travel is pretty flat as well uh, it looks as though there's a bit of a uh, bowl there so let's have a look at the map again so we're looking for something that's got slopes to the north flat to the south so somewhere like this uh, and, and there's even a bowl there as well to our direction of travel. So I would say that we are somewhere in this area here. So what I do now is basically hold shift again, somewhere along this line or somewhere north of this line, let's say add another 
marker and then go back to the map again find that marker and that is oh yeah almost almost exactly north um, 140 meters so go back to the map yep so let's drop that back down to put it on the line and find it again and yeah that's nine meters away so basically all we need to do now is move over to that marker and we are now precisely here that's our location on the map okay another way to do it is um, using the simple map tools so let's get rid of all this information and let's try something else so let's say we want to go to uh, we want to get to this rod junction here so let's stick in a map marker there sorry map marker double click call that FUP and the grid ref is 101 108 okay so that's where we want to get to so um, let's do the same thing again put a marker on it and find that marker which is Three twenty. It looks like just about exactly three twenty, slightly over three twenty degrees. So same again. Uh, subtract two hundred and add twenty would make it a hundred and forty degrees. So our bearing from that is a hundred and forty degrees and nine hundred meters. So now to use simple map tools. Um, this is a little bit more accurate. So if you hit Control and right click. And then we can go to compass and drag it out and take it to 140 degrees. Okay, that's close enough. And then here we control shift and drag a line back through our original marker. And we'll now get to 320 degrees. You can read it there. So we are somewhere pretty much exactly along that line there and we said it was uh, let's have a look again uh, 905 meters so again we can click on that line I put the red dot right over that marker control right click go for distance and then drag it out to 905 meters and control shift draw a little line there so we should be pretty much exactly on that location there. So let's drop a marker and have a look for that. And yeah, basically 17 meters away. So we can crawl over to that now, 17 meters. Or we can refine it. I mean, if we're not in, um, or if we're in an area we don't want to move, and then we can just basically refine it to our exact location. So now uh, using, um, the simple map tools, this is exactly where we are. And the, uh, let's have a look. The simple map tools um, is basically, if you go to the Steam Workshop and just do a search for simple map tools, uh, you'll find it in there. And it is client side, so it will work only on yours. And it should be fine to add to uh, the uh, mod list that you're using um, as it is client side and it doesn't shouldn't affect anything okay hope that's clear if you have any questions stick them down below let me know and i will try to get, uh, clarify for you